Okay, so I just did my mommy bag video. I'll post the link down in the description box below if you guys wanted to look at that. There honestly wasn't very much in there. Um, but I wanted to show you guys my baby bag now, which doesn't have a lot either. <laughs> I know it's just, it seems like the second time around, I, with my son, I overpacked ridiculously. Um, I brought so much stuff that I really did not need at all. So... With this one, I'm just kind of, you know, she just doesn't really need that much at all whatsoever. So, anyway, the things that we're going to be bringing, this is the bag. This is basically a diaper bag. Um, I was have, using it for Josiah, but now I am going to be using it for the baby. And uh, it's a really nice size. And um, just one of those, the Michi bags. And it's got a really big opening right here. It's got a pocket here, pockets here, pockets on the side. There is nothing in any of these pockets or on the sides here. But there is something in here. So in this one here, there are just two pins. That's it. Close that up. And we're going to open up the big part. There's lots of different kinds of pockets in here. So this is what it looks like with the pockets. So on one of the side pockets with the zippers, um, I have just two of the scratch mittens. These were actually made for me. My mother-in-law gave them to me. Some people at work made them. So just little scratch mittens. I've got two pairs of those. I have a little beautiful flower headband here. And this is just for pictures here. And I've got two hats. Um, not exactly sure how big she's going to be. But um, I have two different two different sizes of hats, and I know the hospital provides you with hats. But these are mostly for pictures. So this is like a really, really small hat that a friend of mine made me. It has a cute little flower on it. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. And then I have like a really soft, warm, um, like just plain white hat. So that's in that pocket. And one of the other smaller pockets on the side, I just have two pairs of socks. Here's like a little white pair, and here's, oh my gosh, look, oh, I can't believe how tiny these are. <laughs> Seriously, guys. So, two pairs of socks. And then, in the big pocket here, um, I have this humongous thing of coconut oil. Now, everyone's been asking me, why am I bringing coconut oil to the hospital? Um, the reason why I'm bringing this is because, number one, I can use it as like, instead of lanolin, like what they have. Um, at the hospital, I would rather like to use this. Lanolin is very sticky and it's very rough and it's thick and it doesn't, um, it just, I'm just not a big fan of it and it stains really easily and, um, it stained my nursing stuff and, and everything so I'm just not going to be using lanolin this time. Instead I'm using coconut oil which is completely okay to use with your baby. Um, you use it the same way like you would lanolin and also another thing is, when they give your baby a bath, which I'm going to try so hard not to let them like bathe her for a while, if not at all. Um, my son, after he was bathed, his skin was so dry, like flaking dry and cracking. And it just, it made me cry because I felt so bad for the guy. And they said, don't put any lotions on him. And so I was like, no way. <laughs> I mean, this poor guy, he was cracking, you know, at his... Um, like in the crevices and everything and just and he was bleeding at one point so this time I'm gonna try and not let them bathe her number one number two if they really insist on doing it and they keep bugging me about it or if they really want me to just like rinse her off or something and she still has a skin problem um, we can put this on her and it's completely natural this is just from Trader Joe's organic virgin um, coconut oil so I'm bringing this entire thing, and I also use this for my face as lotion, and I use this on my belly um, to help with the itching and stuff. And after you have your baby, and you have all that extra skin, you're going to be itching. <laughs> so it's a good idea to have some kind of anti-itch cream or something. Um, a couple other things in here. There really isn't much in here, guys. I'm sorry. I have lots of diapers. I know I'm cloth diapering, but... Um, I didn't really ask if I could cloth diaper at the hospital, and I honestly just don't care if I can or not right now. Um, I just, <laughs> I'm just going to take the easy way out. 
So I have all these extra diapers, which was given to me at my baby shower that was made into something. And so I took them all out. And it's, I know it's like a big old chunk of it, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight newborn diapers here. And I know the hospital provides you with them, but those are just in there for whatever. So um, let's see. The next thing that's on there is her outfits. I'm not bringing any pants, but I do have this little onesie. It's going to be for pictures here. Um, it says little sister on it. It's a little newborn Carter's, um, like a beautiful blue onesie for her. Long sleeve. And then this, which I'm borrowing from a friend of mine, is just a little pair of sleeper. It's got little ballet slippers on the bottom and it's just a little button up thing warm and comfortable it's got like a nice terry cloth feel soft and then here's like one that's a little bit bigger in case she ends up being bigger but it's also newborn but it's one of the fleece ones and it's just it has a zipper really easy so there's that that is all that i'm bringing her for clothes i mean she can wear the stuff at the hospital and we do have these just in case she gets cold or anything. But as far as I'm concerned, no, she doesn't really have a specific going home outfit. I honestly think those are just a waste of time. And if you're really concerned about going home outfit, then it's not, I mean, <laughs> go ahead and do it. But it honestly isn't that big of a deal, guys. And the last thing, this is it for the bottom of it, is I have a, this is actually a, um, flannel swaddle blanket it's actually a receiving blanket but it's huge this was Josiah's see how big it is just a big old uh, flannel swaddle blanket the ones that, that the hospital puts on your baby aren't long enough or aren't big enough or weren't big enough <laughs> um, for my son and so I brought one of these with me and all the nurses absolutely loved it I mean it's just brown polka dots on it Really, really soft, really, really comfortable. Something from home. Oh, yes. It's going to be wonderful. Nice and warm for her. And then the last but not least thing is the blanket. Um, you guys might remember I had, I made this blanket. And I showed it a couple, about a month or two back. And it's just a nice um, car seat blanket. And it's not perfect or anything, but it's something that I made her. And it's something that I really want her to kind of be snuggly and take pictures with and go home with. So, guys, that is it for my baby hospital bag. If you have any questions whatsoever or if you think that I might have forgotten something, definitely put them in the comments down below. And um, But that is, that is it for her. That is all that I'm bringing her. We don't need to bring any of that other extra stuff that <laughs> people say to bring. Um, we're not bringing a camera to the hospital because we, <laughs> we're just going to be using our iPhones to do pictures and videos. And I mean, we're pretty much set. I mean, all I have downstairs now is just a pack of clothes that my husband has, um, laid out so that all he has to do is just throw it in my bag and go. And then we have my son's bag packed, which just has, um, a set of overnight clothes and some diapers so that's it that's it guys um thank you all for watching and let me know what you think bye